Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. I hope you're well. Whenever there is a dispute between a man of power and a man without power, then automatically the judgment of the case favors the man with power. On the other hand, even if the man with less power and money is totally innocent and eligible for justice, he won't get what he truly deserves. Rather, he will pay the price of only daring to stand against the man with power. It is because the man with influence will be easily able to manipulate all the evidence, including eyewitnesses, lawyers, investigators, and sometimes even the judge himself. The famous podcaster Joe Rogan shared his views regarding the ongoing escalations of tensions between Israel and Palestine and how scared he is because of the current situation. He said that Israel has the power to control the media houses. They have all the military power. They can spread any level of misinformation. They can choose and also direct their own narrative upon everyone else in the world. And that Israel is not at all playing a fair game right now. This Israel thing, like, it scares the shit out of me. Yeah. It scares the shit out of me. Because when I see something like that happen, you know, it's like there's no clear way this resolves peacefully like this is bad this is real bad and and israel's going to go into palestine they're already bombing and so their world is killing people their world is controlling resources and it's not they don't play fair like they they release stories that aren't true they use disinformation to switch narratives they have social media posts that aren't real so they can get people riled up about certain things and then they're also coordinating military attacks that's their world we just don't think about that world because we're not in that world but people have been in that world since the beginning of time what they've done with us is they've sheltered us in such a way and then censored all the mainstream media in such a way that they completely control the narrative of how you think about what can and cannot happen in the world and why these things are happening. And we're seeing that right now. We're seeing that like in your face where you're like, what? A man with less power and connections should not even expect any kind of justice when he's standing in front of the one of the most powerful people. This is the bitter truth of life, which he should know and also accept. There are maybe people around him who would know who is at fault and who is not, yet they also wouldn't be able to help much. The people of Palestine have been suffering for decades, yet the big media corporations accept for very few have been bothered to report any of it, yet none dared to question the intentions and actions of the Israeli government. This is the reason why we believers are told to not believe in the justice system of this world. This world is not deserving for us to expect justice here. This world is designed to break our hearts. Every one of us will be tested in one way or another. We will witness the loss of the lives of our loved ones. We will face subjugation and oppression. We will be the victims of bloodshed and we still won't be able to be served equal justice. History is filled with instances where powerful regimes have oppressed innocent beings worse than animals. And that is why we as Muslims should never expect anything from this temporary world, as this world is not even worth the wing of a mosquito. Victorious is the one who puts his trust in Allah and expects justice from him alone. We don't have to live forever in this temporary world. And one thing is for sure, Allah is the best judge and he will give us justice for each and every pain that we endure in this world. Let the transgressors enjoy their little success in this temporary world, while the believers will be rewarded with what is meant by eternal happiness and the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which is in fact the true meaning of success. We appreciate influencers like Joe Rogan who are able to clearly make out what's really happening and who the actual wrongdoers are. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us among the ones who will achieve real success in the hereafter. I mean.